<laughs> Very cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dice Center Gamer. Uh, today I'm going to play a game I've been fascinated with for a very long time. This game came out about 40 years ago, if, if it came out in 1983. And uh, I was nine years old at the time. According to Wikipedia, Dragon's Lair is a Laserdisc video game published by Cinematronics in 1983. Okay. In the game, the protagonist Dirk the Daring is a knight attempting to rescue Princess Daphne from the evil dragon Singe who has locked the princess in the foul wizard Mordrock's castle. Okay, well I hope that was fascinating because I actually can barely hear it over the music, which you will not be hearing as loudly as I have been this entire time. Anyway, that's for the outtakes I think. Hi! Welcome back to Ty's Center Game Room. So anyway, I'm going to play this game as I haven't played it in <laughs> many years. And um, if it will run on my computer, I'm really looking forward to it. It's got some extras. The attract video. Ooh, yes. Okay, let's do the attract video together. So, yeah. You're in the arcade, and this is what you see. A fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. <laughs> You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has infected it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. Mm -hmm. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon slayer. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Oh, Yes. So yeah, I mean, just imagine you're in the arcade and you just go across, and that, and you come across that. Oh, we get a choice of uh, move beeps on. Yes, please. Move guide on. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Original scene order from the arcade cabinet, huh? Dirk will start a new scene if he dies. Easy and hard, huh? Arcade and home. What's a home? Home is the original laser disc version of the game. Dirk must pass each scene before moving on to the next. Hmm. I like the idea of playing it on the easy... Uh, oh, more time to react. You know what? Some difficult moves have been removed. Oh. But how hard is hard? This mode features more moves and requires quicker reflexes. The reaction from certain scenes. Good luck. Let's just start on... I mean, it sounds like it's like normal. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that. Okay. One button, one stick. Mm hmm. Oh, and I'm in. Okay. Oh. Okay. I reacted too late. Mm hmm. Oh. Wow, yeah. So this is easy. <laughs> nope. Move forward. No. In the back. Oh, sword. Yeah. Goes by so quickly. So darn quickly. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This has been not kidding. I'm gonna okay, let's do it some more. Ah check out my red bubble store. Mm-hmm. Uh so what ends up happening is now I'm watching the bottom of the screen. You know what? That's what I would be. I'd be looking for lights. Like, there's usually vis visual prompts. Ah! Like, the, there would be visual cues. Oh, boy. Really gotta be on my reaction for that. Okay, that's okay. Alright. Gonna try again. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! I can remember playing this level so many times on the Commodore 64 version. Sword. Uh, sword. Yeah. Uh, right? It's like I'm telling myself. Smithy! Oh! Uh, oh! Oops! It's. I love the sound. The work. The sound work on it. It's delightful. Uh huh. 
Mm, sword. Oh, I thought I hit the sword in time. Or maybe I did, but I didn't see the next prompt. Yeah, because all my attention and all my attention is focusing right, right there. Well, it's well, it's that way. Doesn't matter. Let's play again. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I pressed sword. I pressed sword. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, the laugh is funny. It's all very funny to me. It's just so over the top. Okay, one more time in this mode, and then I'm going to uh, change it to, uh, not arcade mode, but like, home version, because that's also very similar to the way I used to play it when I played it at home. And I didn't have an Amiga. You should see the Convert 64 version. It's fascinating. I'm gonna do it quickly. Fascinating the translation uh, from this cell shaded uh, cell shaded uh, animation versus. Oh. Oh. Uh, um, versus the type of not pixel art, but like um, what's well, Commodore 64? I mean, it looked good. It wasn't it didn't look cell shaded animation cartoon good but but it, it it was a great approximation all right i mean in the sense that like it was better than the atari 2600 version of pac-man as far as translations from one thing to the next go you know not everything could be perfect Okay, home version. Let's see if I can get through this by uh, try completing the scenes. Okay, we're back. Mm. Mm. Is it possible my reaction time is better? Or is that I'm just not talking? Ah! So many good... Think. Mm. Uh -oh. Bink. Gee, bonk. Alright, we did it. Drink me! Don't do it. Ah, I remember you can't actually drink it. Let me, let's see if I can... Here, let's see if I can drink it. Alright, what if we... What if I go to the... The left. Continue. Come on. Oh, I continue in the same spot? Yes. Nope. Okay, well, I guess I'll just leave. I know you can't actually... Uh, drink it. No. Oh yeah, this one. I used to really like this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, I remember. I used to play this on a 3DO. Yeah, I had a I had a Panasonic 3DO. Yeah, that was an investment. Play karaoke discs with it. Concentrate. Mm -hmm. Ah, I br mm. Nope. Okay.
All right, let's keep going. It's a little bit longer. Oh, good. I, d I swear I did right. I did the correct correction that time. All right. It does look great, though. I'm so happy how good it looks. I actually bought the trilogy. Trilogy. Of these games. So I have this. Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp. And Space Ace. Which, as far as I know, I don't know. It could be a shared universe. I know they're both on Bluth. Uh, both franchises, I mean. I was pressing up. I went up. I wonder if I could try using a food board. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Left key. I'm going to use a left arrow. I, I did press up. What about Wazda? Will Wazda work? Yes, it will. And up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up. Okay, good. Up. I did it. I did it the wrong way. I did it the wrong way. Alright. I'm going to be doing it with Wazda. Did actually press the correct way that time. Uh, oh well. <laughs> well, this has been a fun little experiment. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back to this and do it again. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please go to www.heistator.com to find the links to the things you see on the screen, including, of course, uh, anti-social show, gaming outside my comfort zone, and psychotastic comedy soundcast. Soundcast. Background looks different. Just ignore it. Not important. So yes, uh, and also you can find Game Dance in My Comfort Zone at the YouTube channel Sexylar27 Games for now, and you can also find uh, Sakatash, of course, at SakatashShow.com, which you can clearly see on screen. So yes, um, right now I'm also doing a um, Get Me to 1,000 Subscribers, and I will do uh, Fire Noodles. That I have here, you can, so yeah, I'll be, um, if you follow me on TikTok, you can see a video uh, pertaining to that, and also I put it up on my, one of my shorts. Anyway, yes, uh, visit my Redbubble store. There's some good stuff on there. Um, I know probably everybody says that. I, I doubt if anybody's like, hey, my Redbubble is absolute garbage. Check it out. So yeah, uh, www.tysoncenter.com. You can find all those links. And if you on your phone at the top and you do that, it just says menu. Tap menu because that'll give, give all the links. I don't know why that step exists. It's not really up to me. But yes, thank you for watching. Be decent to each other, and I will see you the next time I do this, or something like it.